Travelers tend to have bucket list itineraries that would take many lifetimes to fulfill. Return visits may seem like a waste of time, yet I've found that repeating road trips yields unexpected beauty and amazement, creating experiences that exceed the last exponentially. Not only will that place reveal just how much you've grown since you last walked its trails, but that same growth seemingly unlocks a whole new world, somehow overlooked in the past. Where before I saw a scarred and burnt ecosystem, I now witness the greater plan of nature at work. Fires leave around lots of light for advantageous berries to show up. There are even thimble berries growing inside this burnt out tree here. <laughs> These were all gone last time I was here. <gasps> really a dream come true coming back to the North Cascades as a more experienced forager. <laughs> Another beautiful thimble berries. They are so plentiful where I least expected them to be. <laughs> the details I see in the landscape illustrate the changes that have taken place within, especially in my evolution as a self-made naturalist, able to identify the trees and see the story of their growth habit, a fallen elder raising up a neat line of descendants unfamiliar berries suddenly revealing themselves as friends and food. Last time I was here, I merely dreamed of being able to identify native plants and edible berries. Now I've returned as a small actualization of that vision, creating whole new opportunities for play with the land. There's a sense of release to these repeated adventures, knowing the map more intimately, sinking back into little rituals, finding comfort in long-cherished havens to cook and picnic, only this time with a different seasonal selection of produce to play with. Always had pasta first day in North Cascades. It's a tradition. It's official. Coming back to the same trails, you experience the same scenery in different shades and seasons, this time exploring in a moody northwest drizzle. As one crosses into the forest in the shadow of the dam, one will find a beautifully orchestrated collection of plants amidst cascades and conifers. Upon closer look, one can find the subtle remnants of a forest-bound botanical garden. Still find the remains of some sneaky non-natives. <laughs> he looks kind of cute, a little out of place. To showcase the power of electricity, exotic plants were once grown in this wild landscape, enabled by heat lamps and warm soil. While the forest now mostly displays perfectly poised native plants, some man-made additions remain allowing visitors to enjoy the forest even as it slumbers. The trail transforms with an eerie intermingling of shadow-soaked forest and dimly lit lamps, a strange meeting of urban lighting and wild earth, contrasted only by the whispering creek, a light and colorful current. While I'm no stranger to night hikes in national parks, this one provides a whole new experience within the difference of a few hours. When someone's willing to revisit 10 miles of trail, you know there's something special there. A place can be remade from season to season, further varied by forecast and timing. This time, the factors conspired for this perfect moment in the mountains. I was blessed with more wildflowers than before, intuitively paced for an alpine spring in the heart of summer. Oh my gosh, wildflowers!
My favorite hikes are those with the changing terrain throughout the miles, discovering new ecosystems from lowland forests to rocky alpine extremes. Watching the views unfold with each step higher in elevation, longer hikes really teach one to enjoy the whole journey, rather than suffering through each mile for some grand destination. Despite this sentiment, I still get ecstatic each time I find myself high up in the embrace of clouds and peaks. Last time, I watched the fog pour into the mountains, shrouding the views. Now, the sunshine scattered the mist, exposing everything I couldn't see before. Where once I gleefully walked through the clouds, I now enjoyed visibility for miles. What I once dismissed as alpine scrubs in August were now alive with blooms in July. A mere month's difference, framing the mountains in a carpet of color. They're so cute! On breathtaking hikes like these, I factor in a few more hours strictly for frolicking without a backpack, really soaking up the mountains I hiked so hard to experience. While I often get serene, contemplative shots, this is what I most often look like on trail. I've always had a thing for flowers, and nothing has helped expand my knowledge like spending so much time outside making these videos taking pictures of flora as I go, referencing wildflower guides and online references, then labeling plants throughout my videos. I found so much learning within these little routines. Little packed lunch pro tip, hummus is amazing in pasta salad. Let's go sunning, it's so good for you. Let's go sunning, here the skies are blue. You can see the whole hike. You know, just a little casual mountain traverse. Ooh, she worth it though, every single step.
was deeply satisfying to complete this hike feeling capable and strong rather than last time where I finished destroyed and nearly dead with exhaustion. Now I was able to opt for an extra mile or two for something special, indulging in a nearby alpine lake. I've since developed rituals to care for my body after long days in the mountains. Ones that have made life on the road carry more comforts of home. This truly completed my adventure and restored my body so I could do it all again tomorrow. The mountains will always be my favorite dinner date, along with any guests they happen to bring along, who come by for small greetings in the moments of stillness we seek out together. actually identify the plants now. There those berries be, or should I say grapes, because they is in fact grapes, organ grapes, the dwarf kind. Fat Mountain can't even get it in a single pan. Two years later, it still makes me feel like I'm in a video game. Like something post-apocalyptic, but also kind of forest fairy vibes. It could go either way. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, they some pretty rocks. They in the clouds. Oh, it's a good mountain view. Oh, she cute. Oh, she keep getting better. Oh, we love those kinds. 